welcome back to Laquanda's Heart and I wanted to do a video about um because I talk about mental health a lot and I talk about my personal experiences with mental health but one thing that I rarely talk about is how mental health impacted my hair journey and you know how I saw myself and things like that um, for those of you who don't know, if you're first time watching, um, I manage bipolar one disorder. I've been hospitalized um, multiple occasions. I take medication for my um, medical condition. I see a psychologist and I have a psychiatrist. I am very open about it. I've spoken about my mental health on local levels, on national levels, to private entities. Um, so I've been in the field of mental health for a very long time, for about 15, 15 years, maybe 15, 16 years. So um, it's the topic that's really important to me. But one thing that it impacted, and a lot of you um, who follow me here on the channel um, notice some changes or some, some things because I actually disappeared for a while. And back in 2015, 16, I was going in and out of depressive episodes and I wasn't stable and I moved to the DC metro area. And it became difficult for me to do that routine and grind of putting out a video every week, taking pictures and smiling because it was it was a lot of it was fake. And I say fake by I wasn't feeling like I wanted to smile. I was, you know, doing a video and then going to crawl on the floor or um, and laying down or crawling in the bed and not moving. You know, and then struggling that night to, to go to work. And so it was really difficult for me and I stopped doing videos because I, I didn't have the energy. You're looking at when you're dealing with a depressive episode, you could barely, um, I could barely get out of bed some days. And so the idea of having to continue to do a video um, and smile and say hi and say bye, happy hair journeys, y'all remember that? <laughs> you know, it's just, I just couldn't. Um, I moved to the DC metro area, as I stated, and things were okay for a while, and I was able to do videos here and there, and then I had got to the point to where I just knew I couldn't do it anymore. Um, because all of my energy was going towards getting up and going to work, and I couldn't do anything else. I had issues with how I saw myself and I say that in terms of in thinking that I was pretty um, whenever I started to feel some sort of way like my hair caught it um, it was either me not taking care of it or me feeling so overwhelmed where I felt like I have to change something I have to change something so I would cut my hair off or I would feel like I have to change something, I have to change something, so I would need to dye my hair. Um, something would have to change in order for me to get like a, a little extra pep to feel better. Um, and usually that was with my hair. Um, I had been up for a while and I was dealing with some things because I had lost a really good friend. She had passed away and I felt totally alone. And I just, because a lot of you like, what happened to your videos? What happened to your videos? And I was like, one day I was just like, I don't want to be Regal Fro anymore. It's like, I don't want any association with her. I don't want to think about, you know, hair videos. And so I deleted almost every video on my channel and we had over 2 million views. And I know some of y'all were pissed, like what the hell did she just do? And I was sometimes like, what the hell did I do? But it was like this purging and disconnection of what was fake um, to me. 
And when I decided to start coming back slowly, I wanted to come back as me, as Laquanda. And that meant um, being my truest self, which was talking more about life and connecting with people who had exciting things that they were doing in their communities, you know, that live stream wellness series, um, starting Healing Black Women, because I went through a major depressive episode in February and of this year, and I just felt so alone. And so I was like, you know, I'm sure there's other black women who feel this way. And that's why I found it Healing Black Women on Instagram. But my hair journey on YouTube had to take, you know, back backstage. It had it had to go in the background because I wasn't functioning in life. And and I still had to, you know, be a mom. I still had to be an employee. Um but I was miserable and I was alone. Um, and it didn't matter if someone was there or not, relationship wise, I was still miserable and alone because that disease, the disease that I managed, bipolar disorder, you know, when you're in an episode, it, it grips you and it can take a while for you to be stabilized. Um, and I didn't care about hair as much as I did. I know now you guys are seeing <laughs> videos. I think I put out three hair videos last week and someone was like, what? But <laughs> that's because I'm in a different space. I'm finally stabilized on a really good medication. And I have, you know, the area to actually film a video here and there because I do my hair a lot. If you follow me on Instagram at Laquanda's Heart, I actually do my hair a lot. <laughs> and so I feel like the energy and the time to be able to, you know, do the things that make me happy. But my hair journey was completely impacted by my mental health. Um, because although I loved, don't get me wrong, I loved connecting with you guys on um, YouTube because some days responding to your comments, um, you know, seeing that you guys were watching and enjoying the videos. Sometimes that was the only contact that I had to the outside world outside of, you know, talking to my family because I was isolating myself. So it was very, it was very challenging, um, period for me. You know, I understand and I know as a professional in the field of mental health that, and as an individual who's living with the condition, that this is a lifelong journey for me. And I am going to have great moments like I am right now, and I'm gonna have not so great moments. Um, but if anything that I wanna be, especially here on YouTube, on social media, anywhere, is that it's my truest form and my truest self. And I felt like that I was not that as Regal Pro, but I feel like that I am as Laquanda's heart because I am Laquanda. <laughs> so I would like to thank all of you who have stuck with me, who continue to support me on all my platforms and for just following me on my journeys, these ups and downs and the what the f <laughs> moments. <laughs> but thank you so much and I appreciate all of your support. Um, I have some exciting things coming down the pipeline, but uh, we'll make those announcements when they get here. So thank you so much. And as always, I'll say it once, happy hair journeys. Bye.